Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in one data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on status scratch regarding largest Olympics, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in ESPN interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the Olympics with the highest number of athletes. The Olympics game is a combination of the year and the season, and is found in the games column. Output the Olympics along with the corresponding number of athletes. So basically we are given a data frame called Olympics athletes events and we are expected an pandas data frame output with two columns games and the athletes count. So basically the game which has the maximum number of athletes. So if you inquire this data frame Olympics athletes event, right? So you have a lot of information. So ID, name of the player, sex, age, height, etc. all that. Uh, and then you have games, season, right? Uh, event, medal and all that. So to basically what we need to do is for each of the different games that you have, right? So 1924 summer, right? You have different athletes. So for each of the game, we need to count the how many, you know, distinct people participated in it, right? So that is going to be the number of athletes count and whichever has the maximum one, you output that. So to do this, what we can do is we can group by the games column and then from the ID column, we can count the distinct values, right? So we can move ahead that, okay, Olympics athletes event dot group by right so group by the column games right and then from the column id you need to count unique so if you write dot dot count right so it is going to count everything it is not going going to count unique values so you need to count unique values so you need to write the n unique method dot n unique right so since we also, you know, uh, grouped by the game, so that will be the index. So we need to, you know, reset that so that we can get the values as a column. So we write dot reset index. Let me run this. Let's see what we are getting. So now if you look at it, right, so different games. And so although this column uh, is called ID, but this is the number of unique counts, right? So what we need to do is we should rename this so that, you know, we don't have any confusion. So we write dot rename. And then, you know, what do we need to rename? We need to rename columns and then then we can provide key value fair so we need to change it from id to athlete counts right so athletes count okay let me run this let's see what we are getting okay so now we have games and athletes count now what we need to do is we need to you know return only those ones where the number of athlete count is maximum so what we can do is we can store this in our data frame called df and then use boolean indexing right so what we can do is df and then df of column athletes count right is basically equal to the maximum one right so we write df of column athletes count dot max right so this is going to be the generalized code to output like all those rows where you know the number of athletes count is maximum so if even you know what we can do is for a shortcut you can you know go ahead and write dot lock like you know sort this in descending order and then return the first value but what if two or more games had same number of athletes and that was maximum so to get all those rows you need to go through the boolean indexing route so you know all return all those rows where your number of athletes count is equal to maximum right and then if i run this let's see what we are getting so now our output is same as expected output right let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it now let's see how the corresponding code looks like in mysql so if you look at it, the question is same. We are given a table called Olympic athletes event and expected output is same as well, right? And if you inquire this table, it has all the same information as we have in the Python part, right? So now again, what we can do is from this table called Olympics athletes event, we can group by, right? So we can group by the column game. Then what we can do is we can, you know, return games and then count the distinct values of ID, right? So count distinct ID and alias this as athletes event or athletes count right so we write athletes count right and then if i run this let's see what we are getting 
right so you again have the same information that for different games how many distinct athletes you know uh, participated in that game now what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression so we write with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right and then from this common table expression we are from this common table expression we are only going to keep those rows where athletes count is equal to return max of athletes count right max of athletes count from this common table expression right and once you have the maximum value you return basically since there are only two columns in this common table expression right the games and the count of distinct athletes so we can write simply select star right let me run this let's see what we are getting so now if you look at it, our output is again same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So everything is green and this is how we do it. Again, not a very difficult question. All we had to do was, you know, for each of the different games, we had to find out the number of unique players who participated in those games and then need to find out which all those games had the maximum participation and we output the game and the number of athletes that participated so let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video